your eyes on the Noah's Ark of China. It ain't mine. That's the name given to Luocheng Ancient Town, located 60 kilometers southeast of Lushan City. This place is famous for its boat-shaped street, said to be the only ship-shaped street in China. Built in 1628, although it's technically not an ancient town, this is the old town in Sichuan I've been most excited to visit simply because of its unique history. The story for how this boat-shaped street came to be is one of the more interesting tidbits of Chinese history I've ever heard. When Zhang Xiaozai visited the town in the late Ming Dynasty, he discovered there was a shortage of water. He proposed the perfect idea for attracting more water to the town. Where there's boats, there's water. So why not build the town into a boat? The townspeople loved the spirit of his proposal, and in less than three years, the boat-shaped street was complete. The street is said to be the bottom of the ship. The houses and shops are the sides. The theater in the middle is the cabin, and the Lingguang Temple at the east end is the rudder. Another thing that makes Luocheng unique is its ethnic diversity. There are seven ethnic minority groups that live here in Luocheng. And I'm currently sitting in front of the mosque where the Hui people practice their religion. I've been to ancient towns which are homes to one specific ethnic group. The last ancient town I visited was Lodai Ancient Town which is home of the Hakka people. But seven different ethnic minority groups. That's true cultural diversity. Unfortunately, Luocheng has been the most dead ancient town I visited in China. Due to the rain, Luocheng's isolated location, as well as COVID concerns, on the day I visited the town, it was empty. However, on my way out of the town, I found these beautiful pictures that captured the exact spirit of why I wanted to visit Luocheng. While so many ancient towns in China seem to be dominated by tourists, Luocheng is absolutely a locals town. The idea of locals gathered together on this big boat-shaped street, drinking tea, celebrating, and watching a performance on the stage is just so cozy to me. I think if I would have visited Luocheng on one of those special occasions, I would have fell in love with the town. That's why I'd recommend a visit to Luocheng, but only when there's going to be a special performance there, like for example on Lantern Festival. If you enjoyed the video, like and subscribe and turn on your post notifications because I'm going to be visiting all of China's most famous and most beautiful ancient towns. See you everyone for the next great China adventure.